Okay, so. All right, I see your I see your game. Go for your opening. Am I gonna Am I gonna So I'm gonna just play the way that I've been playing this. Opening. You know, yeah. Okay. All right, we we looked at this. I I think I played this against you when we were just playing through it. Knight f six, obviously. Yeah, I'm not. The thing about it is, um, when I'm playing this, because like of the way I heard you talk about it in your YouTube video, like I'm not really paying attention to what he's doing. And I don't like, obviously, if like something comes under immediate threat, like I would, but like, that's what I was asking. Like, is this like kind of foolproof in that sense? It is. It's, it's the same as that London thing I showed you with white. It's an opening that gets played, you know, the same way all the time. And there's nothing that they can really do to exploit it early on. There's different ways they can play against it. And then that's when you start adding that. Okay. Um, okay, so I he... feel like I, you've definitely you've definitely gotten me this far, and now I'm trying to remember. I know I want to push the pawn at some point, but sure, you can even right. push it now. It's a, it's a very okay. it's unique because he didn't he didn't take the center with his second pawn. Okay. Okay, now now we wait. He hasn't played a king move yet, so we don't know which way he's going to castle if he's going to castle at all. Okay, interesting. So now he pushes this pawn. Um, your thoughts on this pawn push? Um, if I take it, his bishop's just gonna move, which doesn't like that doesn't seem. Or else he brings his knight into the middle. It doesn't seem the end of the world to me. But I could also just develop my knight and then I take his pawn if he takes it, and I attack his bishop. So that's what I would do. But I don't know if it's right. Like I would not take and develop. Right. So if you play knight c6, he can he can take your pawn, for example. Yeah. Keep in mind that if he ever takes your pawn with his pawn, yeah. you'll probably have to trade queens. Right? Because the D file is okay. going to open. Okay. So it's up so to you. Take it. If you, you want to keep it. more pieces on, yeah, you can, you know, pawn takes D4 is fine because he already spent two moves on it. It's not this early in the game, there can be no immediate ramification of. Let's see what he takes with. Queen is really bad. If he takes with the queen, it's really, really bad. Okay, he takes with the bishop. Uh, how can you put that bishop in your sights? You have uh, two ways. I, I do it with my knight, or I could discover it, but then that's not good, right? Because well, he's just going to take... Knight is best. What I was going to say is pawn up two to c5. Yeah. But then he just... Okay, so you take with the bishop or the queen? Um, I would take with my bishop, but if I... But I don't, like, I don't know what's best. Queen is best. Queen is best? Okay. Yeah. Hmm? Okay. So, takes. Uh, it's best because your queen is not a target. Why? If yeah, he moves know. his knight to attack your queen. If he had done that, then there was there was some problems. All right. So now what? Give me like four ideas. Give me. You have so many four different ideas? moves you can play. Yeah, four ideas. Five. Twenty ideas. <laughs> four ideas. Um. God. Okay. I feel like I'm already letting you down. I feel like I should develop my bishop. Um, I don't know if I want to trade off bishops because his bishop is pointing straight at my king. I wouldn't hate going. Can you see my board? So if I go, no, no, I, can, I, I can't hate... see your arrows, but you would have to say moves out loud. Okay, so see uh, from the bishop into uh, e6, so that his bishop's no longer like pointing at my king. I don't know how much of concern that should be, but like. Okay, so bishop e6. Uh, let's try to start. So you're saying bishop e6, you're offering a trade of bishops. That's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's not that he's not looking at your king anymore. It's that you're offering a trade of bishops. Okay, bishop e6 yeah. is fine. You have another bishop move. I have another bishop move. I can With I can go up as far as his up here. I'm just going to, okay, I'm just going to go here. I don't know. I thought this won't be as good because the queen is no longer a pin. But you're actually now just straight up threatening to take the knight and then take it again with the queen, right? Yeah. By so the way. I'm going to take it and get a right. pawn. Yeah, so you're just up a pawn now. Uh, yeah. Notice which side he castled on. He castled queen side. So it means that the game is going to be more sharp, which means you'll both ideally be able to create an attack on each other. Okay. You castle on opposite... Have you heard someone say this? Like, you castle on opposite sides. It's a... Uh, higher chance of attacking the other player. Um, I've never heard anyone say that, no. Oh. So I would protect I would protect my pawn with my with this 
so basically from at the it's one beside the king and i'll go to c8 to stop it but i don't like this, this scares me because i don't know if i'm gonna get wait so uh, you're saying that you would play rook f c8 not rook a c8 yeah because i'll lose the pawn regardless if i play the one on a8 i will lose the pawn in front of it so i bring it from oh f no you wouldn't oh yeah because i'm like okay okay, yeah. okay. So then i would then i would then i would play here mm -hmm. by the way even if he takes on a7 in that, that corner pawn. Why doesn't... Why does that help you? He's probably gonna... Maybe he might trap it. it well, first of all, there's, the, there's always the concern of a trap piece when it goes that far. But second of all, he takes a pawn like that. Notice it opens the A-file. Okay. Right, That's like, good for me. You get what I'm saying? Like, you would just move your rook straight back. And then it sees all the way down to the other side of the board. Yeah. Um, I'm hey, that? gonna go... Hold on, here. so bishop e2 oh, attacks your queen. Yeah, so I'm just going to bring my queen back to f6 and attack his king, and then take his knight, potentially. I know I can't with my queen, but I can take a pawn. It's going to be free. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, so you had two free pawns in the position. You could have taken either of the pawns oh, your yeah, queen sorry. Side. Yeah. But queen f6 is good, because by the way, it threatens mate. So listen, I don't give a damn. You play queen f6, like whatever. But both those pawns actually were free. So would you, like, rather... Rather than attack, and I should just take it and then move, the, do this one move later. Yes, the best move was probably taking his central pawn. So queen takes e4, pawn okay. in the center of the board. Because his other pawn is kind of passive, this pawn is probably a little bit better. Um, the thing is, if he hangs mate, I look stupid because I'm like, don't play. Yeah, but obviously, like, this is like, he's. Right, he's supposed to defend like mate. Yeah, exactly. And he didn't, so it's over, right? Exactly. 122 points? What? Oh, you're provisional. What's that mean? Uh, it means that you... So, you've never played this time format. Oh, okay. Okay, so, okay, it, so it's not the same rating as yes, the 10-5. Yes, yes, yes. And it needs to okay, adjust. Okay. Also, the guy that you played popped into my chat and said, why am I playing a GM? <laughs> um, and you're, you're, so ju you will get a rating refund. I will write to staff. You'll get your rating back. Don't worry. Um, also he hung maiden one. So just practice your, you know, check maiden one defenses <laughs> Hop into another game. So by the way, this game, a, a couple of different things happened. He, he, he waited a little long to play this pawn push in the center. So you took it, which was the right decision. Uh, you okay. learned that bringing the queen out in that trade was okay. And... Uh, castling on opposite sides. So this guy. All right, let's let's see who you're. This guy has played eleven thousand rapid games. Wow. Okay. Honestly, I must have played a couple of thousand at this point. I must play like two or three thousand. I play all the time, dude. Like I just play like ten games a night and just like just whack them out and like don't like they're mindless. There's like, you know, I played a lot of like a lot. I feel. I've also I played also, a lot. Yeah, I'm sure you played a lot more to me. But um, <laughs> uh, the one thing about this position when you uh play your knight in here it feels or sorry not your knight my bishop to g7 like i just have it feels like a lot of the time maybe it's just because i'm not good enough but like i feel like my bishop's kind of like not doing a whole lot in there or is it just you're right it's it's definitely it's more of a long-term kind of positioning um okay. you know the, the the problem is that the only way really to by the way okay so we have like a very standard position what what did i show you here uh, i'm gonna go here yes I like when folks learn quickly. And I also showed you what to do against that. Take. Take. Easy peasy. Okay, okay. now the... Me what to do? Well, the final move of development, the last piece that you haven't moved yet. Um, is my knight. And there's a free pawn at the moment in time if it doesn't move. No, because then he's just going to... No, you're right. Knight just, c6. I am, <laughs> yeah, I am right. But I just thought he's going to push... Well, then he, I can just attack his queen. That's yeah, fine. if he pushes, it's actually completely okay for you also. Okay. You know the, you know the next move too, by the way. Oh, do I? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, what do, what do you know about your opening? You've got the, the, the whole setup you here. like. Was that it, or...? That was it. Okay, by the we we literally practiced this position. Do you remember this? <laughs> we literally had this position, except the bishop was on c4. You told me, can I hop my knight into the center? I said, move your knight back. 
you get to choose which one you want to do now. You want to do your thing, play knight d4. Um, I'm going to do what you told me to do. Nope. Oh, okay. I went the wrong way. Well, what do you mean the wrong way? They're both fine, but I wanted you to do your thing. They're both good. Okay. Okay. They're both good. Okay, but now you have to remember what the game plan is in this opening. Now that we've closed the center, you're trying to play which pawn move here. Uh, um, I, f I feel like I want to take his center pawn out, but I'm not 100% sure. Remember, so, so I want to take c6. So c6, if you play pawn c6, um, you're going to help him out. Because okay. look at where he just put his rook. So his rook wants to have the d file open. Okay. Right? But if you play c6, you're, you're inviting exactly that. A King's Indian player, the setup that you're playing, wants to push the f pawn up two. That's what you want. You want e5, f5. Okay. And so your knight on f6 is in the way. You could bring that knight back to d7 or e8. They're actually both okay. And then you set up f5. And remember this. Um, okay. That's... So, Yes, and then the next move is going to be f5. This is literally like the, the, the most advanced, foolproof way you play this opening. And you start okay. to attack on the king side. Um, I didn't do it though. Like, I, I've got a, I got a little, I got a strong helping hand there. But that, but that's, that's the whole point of this. You're learning. So now when you True. get this, like, that's, you need to see this once or twice. And then okay. now if he takes your pawn, big question is, what are you going to take back with? Um, I would take back with my knight. I would agree with you. I think pawn is also fine, but... It just looks scary to me to lose that pawn, and then it's looking quite open down there against my king to me. Yeah. So I'm going to challenge that assertion, and I'm going to say something like, how does he get to your king? Okay, bishop g5. So first things first, does that move have a threat? Yeah, well, it's a pin on my queen, and it's threatening to take my knight straight away. Yeah, and so if he takes your knight... Your knight stops guarding what very important thing? It stops guarding this pawn, but like I lose a defender on the pawn, but I'm still defending it with g6. Like it loses, it's not defending uh, f5 as, anymore. That's exactly right. So the problem for you is that he's hitting f5 with on bishop and queen, right? Okay. That pawn on f5. Okay, so I would so push my bishop into f f ah interesting so you want you want to trade your bishop that that probably is good yes you could play bishop f6 i i respect that decision okay so now the question is do you take there okay easy peasy sorry should i ever not take that but no no my my biggest question was uh con continuity in the thought process so just always oh, okay. keep in I mind taken right? the, sorry i could have taken the, with the knight right but but if you did that you would have stopped guarding f5 so you took with the yeah. rook because yes I took with the rook because I've seen it first, dude. I didn't. I'm no, you here. didn't. <laughs> no, you're a fucking genius. That's why you did. Okay. Um, Does I that move do anything? My, no, I would threaten to take that, but I would. I don't know. Like in my head, like I would like to put my knight on c5 so that I'm threatening to take his bishop because I feel like it's more powerful than my knight. Knight c5 is. is an amazing move. Play that shit. I don't even want it. I don't even <laughs> want another. By the way, um, you can take his bishop. His bishop is a little bit passive. Okay, so take his bishop. I mean, that was kind yeah, of your Obviously, I, I, it threatens the pawn if he moves his knight as well, right? Is that the other... Threatens the pawn if he moves... The, sorry, sorry. I got to start saying that the... the sorry, on the, the pawn on a4 like is protected currently, but that's sure. only by that. Yeah, yeah, but he attacked your knight, so you have to take his bishop. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so... Kind of a little... It's a tough position to play. Okay. Um, what are your ideas? Give me like two or three ideas. Two or three ideas. Um... I don't have two or three ideas, Levy. This is this is. Give this me is one idea. Of, give me one idea. Um, one idea. His knight is unprotected. Good luck. On, yeah, I mean that's but that's what I see right now. That's I see mm -hmm. that unprotected. I also see that his pawns unprotected on b four. Um, I don't know. I. I think I should bring my queen over to uh, f6 or else bring my queen up to uh, d7 and then double up my rooks so that I can Fantastic take move. Queen d7 is brilliant. Oh okay. my god, what a genius. 
Queen d7 and double the rooks on the f-file? Who is this guy? <laughs> oh my, I got 2,000 rated players in my chat saying queen d7. So I would, I don't know if it's any good, but like what I'm getting it? a little bit concerned. So I would, I would bring this over, but should I be concerned? See, this is what, so Daniel last night, or Danny, excuse me, said stop worrying about ghosts. Like, I, 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 this pawn's nothing, right? I shouldn't care. Is he attacking anything? No, no, no. Okay, so there you go. The only thing that's holding you back is, am I missing something? You just have this constant... Some people are the opposite. Some people never think they're missing anything. Yeah. So okay. you don't want to be that guy. But we need to get you out of this bad habit of being like, oh, maybe I'm missing something. No, just scan. Does he attack anything? No. Like, what is he doing? He's just actually really screwed up because he missed yeah, your whole attack. Oh, no, sorry, it's not. Um, I would... I would take the pawn in the center now and take it. his queen. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it, he has to take with the queen. Yeah, which gives me a free pawn. Which gives you free... You saw all of that? Well, yeah, that's what I thought, the pawn here. <laughs> what the hell? Amazing. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do now, um, I I would... I would try and... I don't know if I should at this point, but I would try and trade queens. You want to play like queen f5, play? right? Yeah. Yeah, is that, queen is, is, is a bit negative. It's uh, it's. I wouldn't trade the queen because I just feel as though you are kind of attacking him, but it's it's not so easy to tell so, how you are attacking. Okay. Um. Hmm? Let me think then. That queen f five is a perfectly reasonable move. You can also just keep improving the position of like some of your pieces that are more passive. Yeah. I could I put the knight or is this blocking things off if I put the knight into f five? Right, can he take anything? Can he check you? No. Then knight f5 is the best move. Knight f5 creates a threat too. Yeah, it's it's a fork on the queen, right? If I get another move. Uh huh. Very nice. You had one very cool move, which I will show you after the game. I don't okay. think it won by force, but it looked cool. So sometimes these cool ideas exist, but it it was just silly. Oh, fantastic! He lost the queen. GG. There you go. All because you developed your knight a little further, and he just resigns. <laughs> One hundred. I know it's. I know it's just funny. I know you, I understand why it's happening because I have to play a lot, but it's just funny to see plus One hundred ninety-eight points. I mean, like I didn't say any of that. You. I asked you a question. You said queen d7. I, 